Good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, Justin Poi, and uh, I'm the chair of the Chinese um, consultation group uh, within this project. Uh, I, I had a bunch of notes prepared, but I just realized I don't want to be repetitive here. So really what I wanted to tell you was um, why I got involved and the perspective in which I'm getting involved. Um, I, uh, I'm a volunteer. I'm a donor. I sit on a number of boards, advisory committees for charities and nonprofits, and um, I've seen the industry change a lot. The word diversity, there's a lot of key words that you'll see in different industries, and, and for some reason when there's a hot word, the whole industry embraces it. And diversity is one of those. Uh, but diversity is, is one of those words where if you embrace it, you really need to follow through. Um, if you don't follow through, it can actually have a very adverse and negative effect on an organization. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a great word. Um, it says a lot of things. In fact, my good friend Hamlin Grange here, uh, who's chairing the Caribbean African group, has a company called Diversipro. It's right in the name of the company. Um, but what, what, what has happened in my experience is that um, very often when when I'm asked as a Chinese-born Canadian who has joined a board or a group to please put something together with the Chinese community, I often ask myself, am I, am I actually being more divisive than inclusive? And really, so inclusion is really about, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a welcoming tone. It, uh, it makes sure that we take everybody's input and bring value at the decision-making table. There are a lot of times where I've come to you know, a meeting and I find that I've been asked to participate in, a, in, a, in an effort within my community, but all the big decisions have already been made. So really, all I'm doing is being asked to put some sugar on top. And, and what happens is when I bring my own contacts in, they feel powerless and they become, actually they lose their motivation because they're not brought to the table. So what I really think that we will find out for over the next few years working in this is that if we bring all the parties together, donors, volunteers, fundraisers, and really hear each other out, that organizations will then be able to take this information and build something very serious and bring those people to the table and, and properly develop a strategy that is not mere lip service. <clears throat> it's, not, it's no doubt that our, our country, our province, the diverse makeup is changing tremendously. And, you know, diversity, as, as Krishan was saying, I mean, there's, there's many levels we can drill down to. And, and obviously, uh, when we're talking about the charitable and not-for-profit sector, it takes resources and those sort of dictate decisions as how far you want to drill down. But all I can say is that um, I hope that out of this project that uh, organizations, charities, not-for-profits will look at, at fundraising from a different perspective. They will, um, they will take this information and truly take it to heart and build it into their plans from the ground up because that's really what we need it's it's sort of it is the very first time we're going to be able to get everybody in the same room talking at the same time and that's donors we got philanthropists volunteers fundraisers and we want to hear from everybody um, I'm really proud to lend my name to this um, uh, to this initiative and my time and um, you know uh, everybody here at a AFP is wonderful Krishan in particular. Uh, thank you very much, Krishan, for, for even uh, approaching me. And, um, and I, I want to share in, uh, in the building of this uh, uh, widening of the philanthropic bandwidth. So thank you very much, and uh, thank you for helping us launch the initiative today. Thank you.